All right, guys, Garage Sideways back with you for another episode with Turbo Miata. Um, this is going to be a DIY video of how to do the timing on the Miata because I got to get it set up for the boost, which it needs to be 10 degrees advanced. So when I hook up Mega Squirt uh, computer, thinks what it actually is, like mechanically, you want them the same. You don't want the computer to think it's mechanically 10 degrees advanced, and then it's not. That's not good. So we're going to be inject injecting. I'm thinking of my injectors. My injectors came today, so that's good. Or and then the ECU will be here this week, so that'll be a video for you guys. I'm sure you'll be excited to watch that. But yeah, we're going to be doing the timing today. we got to check it. got a timing light. Uh, a couple quick tips. If you're going to be doing the timing on the Miata, make sure the RPMs are idling good. 850 to 900 is the recommended. Uh, another couple things. Make sure it's up to operating temperatures. Make sure there's no accessories on. You don't want the AC on or anything. And I'm going to show you step by step all the stuff you should do before like the wire and the diagnostics and stuff. I'm reading off online. I, I highly recommend that uh, you don't take 100% my advice. You can go by what I do, but also read up a lot online on forums because that's the best information you can get. So let's get started with the diagnostics wire and letting the car warm okay, up. So for the diagnostics thing, you just want to open it up and you're going to want to plug it into not the camera focus so you guys can see into that second port over and then this port right on the end oops sorry that port right over there and you just want to loop it if you put it in wrong or accidentally touch another one it will start smoking so you will know 100 percent to fix that and then now next you're going to want to start the car and let the car warm up and get up to idling temperature uh, i got to hook up my mass airflow because my mega squirt isn't hooked up yet so i can't run this how it is because it won't be able to read anything and it'll never run right in the idle control valve isn't hooked up. So let me get that hooked up and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the mass airflow hooked up. It's just a stock air box, nothing special. So for a timing light, um, you don't need nothing really special. You just need a everyday timing light. You know, I don't have a really expensive one or nothing like that. It's actually not even mine. It's a putty of mine. But um, I'm going to be showing you where you can hook it up because batteries, usually you just hook them up right up front to the battery. No positive, negative. And then you hook your one clip it's the spark plug wire one but um the yeah, just don't have the batteries in the front so basically oh i just dropped it so basically you're gonna want to take a spark plug thing this hook it right up to cylinder not well spark plug one whatever you want to call it take your power wire and hang on, let me turn the camera around. So down there, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but you all know if you own a Miata. There's a, uh, the alternator, and you just take the little boot right off, and there'll be a nice, pretty decent sized bolt, and you just hook that up to that. And then for your ground, you just ground it right to your intake, and if you see a little bit of sparks, which that usually happens, you know you're good. So now make sure all the wires are out of the way. You don't want anything to go on your belts or nothing. Make sure your timing light's all out of the way. And then you're going to want to start your car and let it get up to idling temperatures because you don't want it to um, be idling too high because then it can be advanced. And then when, if it's too low, it can be retarded more than it actually is. So you definitely want to make sure everything's working perfectly. So let me start up my car. Make sure it's out of gear. <laughs> don't want to run through your garage, guys. Check the timing with the light. 
basically you want to shine it right on there I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see but basically my timing is like barely advanced at all like it's way off so I need to loosen up the crank angle sensor and turn it I think it's counterclockwise to advance the timing so I'm gonna give that a shot real slowly and see if it moves it and I'll get right back to you and let you know how it works. Alright guys, so I got, I moved it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's almost 10 degrees advanced. Now we're like 5 to 7 degrees advanced, so I basically gotta turn it off, turn the cram angle sensor a little more counterclockwise, or clockwise, whatever, I'm confused as hell. Turn it the same way I did, and then I'll come back and let you know if that worked. And it, it looks like from how it is right now, that I'm gonna get a spot on and then I'm probably gonna test drive it because it has been stuttering a little bit lately and I couldn't figure out why. And then I checked the time and I was like, oh my God, it's not even advanced. It's just like top dead center or whatever you wanna call it. So let me mess with this a little more and see what happens. All right guys, so I just adjusted it. There it is. 10 degrees advanced, just like you I, want. I just, wanted to, I just realized that like, my car stuttered a little bit, like I knew that, but I didn't know what it was. I figured it was the timing, but I was too scared to mess with the timing. And I wish I could show you guys how much, how bad it was. I mean, I can show you how it is now, but you're just thinking it's like a normal Miata. But my response on revving has improved so much. Like it's instant. Before it would stutter a little bit, like it was getting too much fuel or whatever it was. But let me show you real quick, even though you'll just think it's normal Miata. <laughs> It's so amazing, like, what that can do. Oh, forgot to turn off the fans. <laughs> like, guys, if you think something's up with your car and it's the timing, don't be scared to go for it. Whew, it's smoky in here. Don't be afraid to go for it. it. It's so well worth it. Like, oh, my God. that the, I want to go drive it, but fucking Zach's BMW doesn't have rear wheels and I can't get out of my garage. <laughs> but once again, guys, thanks for watching with the Garage Sideways. Every one of you are awesome. I hope one day I can make it somewhere and people will be watching my videos as much as others. But as of right now, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are the best. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.